Welcome back. We are with Lachelle Yates from the BBB and we are talking all things scams, how to spot one, how to prevent yourself from becoming a victim. So Lachelle, let's talk a little bit about investment scams. We were talking about that um, during the break. Yeah, so we just did a study on investment scams and reports to BBB scam tracker reached a three year high in 2023. More than 1500 were reported nationwide. And that was just one finding. And um, also over a three year period, the median dollar loss went from around 1000 to 6000 in 2023. So here's how scams work that are being reported locally. People are investing on websites that claim to be trading on plat that claim to be trading platforms rather. And people appear to be doubling, tripling their money. And then when they try to withdraw money though, people pay they're asked to pay a fee of several thousand dollars. Now if they do pay, they either never get their earnings or their initial money back. And that's where they're losing their money. Now here are two survivor stories from people here in other parts of North Carolina. Aaron um, met Andrew on a Christian dating app and after developing um, a relationship over the course of several weeks, so this was kind of like a, a dating scam in the beginning, she started making deposits into a crypto account. And after several weeks and a final tax payment to IRS, Andrew disappeared and closed down his account, disconnected his phone number and left Aaron with losses of several hundred thousand dollars. So that was one scam that happened here in North Carolina and another part. And then Hallis encountered a cryptocurrency scam on social media. Unbeknownst to him, a friend of his, his Instagram account was hacked. Well, a scammer posing as a friend said that he had made $3,700 on Bitcoin. Well, Hallis invested $3,700 as well. And then as soon as he gave his friend that money, the friend disappeared and took his $3,700. So they're starting to use cryptocurrency as well as romance scams along with investment scams. So that's something to look out for as well. Um, so some of the red flags to look out for, we can see some of those with these survivor stories is strangers who suddenly want to befriend you, like in the romance scams. Also, just look out for claims that sound too good to be true or investments that take little to no effort. Also, you know, be very wary of strategies that offer guaranteed returns. And that's true for any type of investments. We know that guaranteed returns, that's just something that you can never expect in investments. And so just watch out for that. And also be very skeptical of someone who offers their secret strategies or says, don't check out my claims. Those are all red flags that we found in our study. Good stuff there, thank you. A question from a viewer here. Do you have to get the free credit monitoring from Change Healthcare? No, you do not. You never have to accept the free credit monitoring that somebody offers you. And you know, some people say that the free credit monitoring is good because it does alert you to changes that happen on your credit. Um, and sometimes it can alert you to things that happen on the dark web. Credit monitoring is actually what alerted people to the national public data breach to begin with, but it is no substitute for pulling your credit report every year at least. And it's no substitute either for freezing your credit because all it does is alert you to a change in your credit. So the credit has already been created. You know, somebody has already opened an account in your name. So then you have to go back and then fix it. So, you know, if you really wanna be safe, go ahead and freeze your credit that is really the ultimate protection. And we have about 45 seconds here. Someone asks, I keep getting a text from UPS asking, asking for my address to send a package. This is a classic fake delivery notice. UPS is never going to text you and ask you for your delivery address. Guarantee if you well, click on that link, it's gonna take you to a website that's going to end up asking you for personal information or ask you for um, money in order to deliver the package. And by clicking on that link, either they're gonna ask you for that personal information money, or it could download malware onto your device. Never click on links that you're unfamiliar with or from uh, texts or emails from people that you don't know. 
All right, all great stuff. Lachelle, thank you so much. Remember, if you missed our entire conversation, you can find it on our website, WFMYNews2.com. We'll see you at 6.